Hey guys, so I did a little bit of mining off camera. Our Pokedex is only missing four Pokemon. These are the Legendaries and the Gimme Ghoul Evolution. Also for the Gimme Ghoul Evolution, I have 1,000 Gimme Ghoul coins. And I was about to show this off in like a cool way. It's like, wow, we're gonna start with the Gimme Ghoul Evolution. Uh, I forgot to actually bring her a candy. So um, this is gonna awkwardly start with me like just flying up the mountain until I can kill enough stuff to evolve Gimme Ghoul. Okay, uh, if I kill this, it, this should probably be enough. Okay, here's the boy. We've acquired all the money we need. And now he has become money with like a fanny pack. Body seems to be made up of a thousand coins. This Pokemon gets along well with others and is quick to make friends with everybody. Goldengo acquired. He is a ghost steel type. We can go and now f fight every legendary. Faint sound is coming from within the truck. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, uh, let me just quickly save this up. It's just a very light tap and the entire structure falls apart. We're probably like crushed by like the lid or something. Oh, look at this dude. Splashy. It's a goldfish. Beads of Ruin. It weakens the special defense of all surrounding Pokemon. God, that's actually scary. All right. <laughs> get it paralyzed. Do I chance just getting one hammer off in it? Oh, no, okay, no, don't. Don't chance the hammer, right. Hammer's too much. Hammer's too much, okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. It's like, Taffy, no! Okay, if I just hammer first. Perfect. Okay, uh, we're in a cave for this one too, so I can probably just start chucking some dust balls. What? Oh, that was easy. Okay. Well, that's one down. <laughs> Controls flames burn over 5,400 degrees Fahrenheit. It casually swims through the sea of lava it creates by melting rock and sand. Holy shit, that's pretty hardcore. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking all of these, like, Rune Quartet, like, Pokemon are actually gonna be, like, shockingly strong. Like, even the snail seems like his ability is really good. It just, it lowers the attack of everything just by him existing in the battlefield. So it's like, it's kind of like Intimidate, but I think if they switch, it still affects it, which is very interesting. It's kind of like an aura. But like, yeah, like, they, they seem shockingly strong. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to deep dive into competitive uh, for this game. I think it's going to be a very exciting uh, meta. Oh, yeah, also, um, speaking of meta, just a quick aside here. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, why, so while we were uh, doing some Pokemon X completion, uh, myself and Kelly like trade it for all the Scarlet and Violet like exclusives. Uh, so say hey, they're like Iron Valiant. This is what you get in like Pokemon Violent. These are like the Pokemon of the future. And so I've actually got a copy of everything. Here's like Violet's Volcarona. Here's their Hydreigon. Here's Delibird. I, he looks kind of monstrous. Like look at that like speed and special attack stat. There's Hariyama, Iron Hands. There's Tyranitar. He looks a bit derpy, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I love Tyranitar, but I don't know about this guy. And then there's Iron Treads, uh, the Don Fan as well. Okay, next one. Oh God, they're so weird looking. This guy, like the Lord Vessel, it's become sentient. Weaken the special attack of all surrounding Pokemon. Oh shit, that's like a special attack intimidate. Start off with a hammer if we can. I, I love the designs for these guys just cause like, they kind of incorporate like the, the artifact. What, what what was actually the fish artifact supposed to be? I actually, that one actually wasn't as clear. Cause this one's the vessel, the, uh, the other one was like the tablets. It was the beads, was it? Okay. Oh god, he doesn't want to go. He's very angry, this lad, yeah. I got some more timer balls specifically for these guys. There we go. That's two down. The fear poured into an ancient ritual vessel that's clad itself in rocks and dirt to become a Pokemon. That's how Dark Souls got started. Oh, you, you can compare this Pokemon game to Elden Ring now. There's the Lord Vessel. We haven't really been over here at all. You want to see like the the 10 FPS wind turbines? <laughs> Flawless masterpiece. Her bang. Oh, that's pretty cool. Sword of Rune. Weaken the defense of all surrounding Pokemon. Okay, yeah, that that's that's actually quite scary. <laughs> I think this and the fish are probably going to be the more offensive ones. 
We live in fear. Uh, let's thunder wave it real quick. Danger kitty. Uh, can I just knock off and chip him down? Yeah, let's do one more. He seems very frail. Okay, let's get him. And now we wait. Stop using fucking dusk balls, despite it being dark at night with an advantage to use dusk balls. Yeah, sure. Let me, let me, let me, let me switch to like a dive ball. Hang on. Really, that's the better strategy. Backseat Andy. <laughs> it's like incorrect backseating though as well. That's why like I gotta call it out when I see it. It's like backseating, but like the guy's locked inside the boot. There's no idea what's happening. <laughs> Don't use a dusk ball. Don't use a dusk ball. It's not gonna work. Uh, this Pokemon can control a hundred ton tons of fallen snow. Plays around innocently by leaping in and out of avalanches it has caused. That's actually quite menacing. <laughs> and that is the Pokedex complete. 400 of 400. You've encountered every single Pokemon there is to find in Paldea. Exploring the region on your own two feet is a real treasure of an experience, isn't it? You know, I think you deserve a special diploma in recognition of this magnificent achievement. Come see me in the biology lab back at Naranja Academy when you have some time. You get the completion mark for your profile. And a single beast ball. Congrats, you've completed the Pokedex. Look at that. Oh yeah, it, 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 sorry, the Pokedex lags if you go too quick as well. You gotta you gotta give it a moment to catch up. Oh yeah, I, I also want to say, um, like, I, I, I did quite a bit of stuff, um, like, off stream just for, like, farming the Pokedex. Doing some terror raids and getting materials. The main, the thing I really couldn't be arse doing is the classes. Uh, these are really boring. <laughs> it's basically, imagine like 64 cutscenes, is how I would describe them. Of like, inconsequential information. The history one was cool, and that's like the main one that I enjoyed because it gives you actual lore. But everything else is just like, did you know if you press like the ZR button? While in the field, uh, your Pokemon comes out? Except I did say that I would save Sandwich class for the stream. So let's get a Sandwich class in. My last class to talk about HP restoration. Oh yeah, this guy was like, what's the difference between a potion and a super potion? The answer is one super. The God, you're amazing. Over after class, I was, I was asked by several of you about power points, commonly known as PP. The Pokemon loses all of its HP, it faints, it can no longer battle. What then happens to a Pokemon when it loses all of its PP? Can't use moves. It's not even sandwich class today. It's not even sandwich class. This is actually quite sad. What? Are you telling me you've already registered 400 species of Pokemon to your Pokedex? That's every kind of Pokemon there is if you don't take into account the devastating consequences of Dexit. Research on the Pokemon of the Paldea region is moving ahead like never before. And it's all thanks to you, Lettuce. You know, I visited this strange shop the other day and happened to pick up a little something. Might not seem like much to get a second-hand gift, but here, from me to you. We get the shiny charm. Having one of these mysterious shiny charms makes it more likely you'll encounter shiny Pokemon in the wild. Uh, effectively, this, like, pretty much doubles the odds of shinies. Trainer Lettuce, we hereby certify your achievement of completing the Pokedex. May this feat be celebrated by all. There we go. We got our diploma. We graduated. I reconfigure your Pokedex app so that you may view your diploma there anytime you like. Programming is another of Director Clavel's skills, you know. Game Freak could learn a, ting or a, a thing or two from Clavel. They've had some real trouble with programming lately in this game. Next up on the list is to rebattle the gym leaders. We need to unlock this tournament that's coming up. <laughs> game never fucking ceases to amaze me. Oh yeah, okay, no, of course. You can just see through the entire school if you so choose. Game of the year. Are you ready for that rap battle? A rap battle sounds great, Rhyme. Your champion rank comedian too. <laughs> Even the game knows, it's like, yeah, the, this really sucked. My spirit's yearning to get this battle churning. You best be ready to begin. Little champion is coming into her own. Come on, baby, rattle me down to the bone. I hate it here. Uh, let me just one-shot kill this. And then break your disguise. Yeah, we need the dog. I'm, I'm quite sad the dog isn't, like, jamming out. He was the best part of the battle. This is hugely disappointing now. Ghostly change will turn your highs to lows. The brightest lights cast the darkest shadows. Yo, sometimes, like, you can say a rapper's spitting bars, but here I, I just think she's spitting. 
Okay, let's just uh, finish this off real quick. Spirit Home is fucking dead. We did it. We beat Rap. To call us the Rap God now. You're cool, my friend. You move my soul. That doesn't rhyme with cool. Beauty has become even more refined since the last time we met. Um, I... I think I have a new hat. I might be wearing gloves now. I'm not sure. You know what? I'm really happy right now. Diamond in the rough that I helped to polish and sparkling as bright as the finest of gems. I mean, I... I kind of destroyed you, Tulip. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know how much, like, you helped, personally. I'm gonna teach you how to do true emotional spectrum paradise. Oh, ESP, because she's the psychic gym. It's a fucking stretch. Ah, oh, so we're just destroying her here. Oh yeah, we, we killed another gym later there. Yeah. <laughs> Talent one area or the other often fade away quickly, never to be heard of again. With all kinds of setbacks, they fall into corruption and their desperation and end up even more miserable than the mundane do. Better for those people if they never had even the slightest bit of talent to begin with. Wait, what is she Tulip, what's going on here? <laughs> like, don't fade away, lettuce. Okay, see ya. Just hammering home the existential dread, I think. Opportunities like this get me excited because I can finally show my true skill. Allow me to knead you into submission. Uh, she's going to die. Really badly. This is going to be the easiest one by far. Uh, and it's just because we happen to have the one move that is super effective against everything and buffs us more. Like, like fight's already over. Oh no, protect. It's, uh, you're going to protect again, okay. Well, let's try this a third time. <laughs> oh my god, would you stop. Thank God. Gen 9 gym leaders have strats now. You have spam protect. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Magical bear. Okay, good fight. You did amazing, Katie. Please hand over the third gym badge again now. Thank you. I'm to meet with the top champion today, but I have just now canceled that plan. I... I don't like it when he smiles like that. I think it's because he looks so tired. There's like something very unhinged about his expression. Yeah, let's go. Let's go make some art. You're, you're, you're weak to my fire type again. This, this will be a quick one. And you're dead. Stop the chat. Oh, no, he's got sturdy. He's got sturdy. The audience is ecstatic. It's like, we actually hit the chant a little bit longer. Set the town ablaze. Tsuruhudo is humiliated for the trainer's amusement. <laughs> it really seems it, yeah. There we go. Ah, Vant Guard. Okay, buddy. The the gym review is gonna be skating in regards to these windmills. Not looking good. Not looking good. All the gym leaders are unfit and need to be replaced. We just come back to like a Gogeta. It's like, yeah, they all suck. Like, what were you thinking when you put this league together? This is just terrible. No wonder I beat this so easily. Reminder, I'm the water type trainer. This guy likes his fish. Yeah, let's go, Kofu. Just realize he has two sets of eyebrows. It's just his hair. But no, but like the shape of it, it looks like a second pair of eyebrows. He stole them from the avid guard guy. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, because he was missing them. And those, th that top pair of eyebrows actually looks like it would fit the other gym leader. I think he actually has stolen them. He underestimated his power. I mean, at the moment, his power doesn't seem that great. I'll be honest with you. It's not lasting long here. He'll take your eyebrows too if he loses. But you even look at his beard. It's like, wait a minute. That's not facial hair. It's like a collection of all his trophies. If you look even at his gown, like, those blue bits. It might not be fabric. It could be hair. Those look like more pairs of eyebrows. It's all eyebrows. Like, that woman next to him needs to run. Like, he's, he's gonna be angry. You gotta get out of there. You've got eyebrows. Oh, Iono had the catchphrase as well. Your your eyeballs are mine. <laughs> she was warning us. These league mandated inspections happen a few times a year. Don't show her up for the job. We'll lose our positions as gym leaders. He always says it's just a formality, but I already had to give up on being a pro snowboarder. If she takes away the talents I still have to show, then what'll be left? Oh, no. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to bring the temperature down. It's simple enough, really. All I need to do is make sure the power of my Pokemon chills you to the bone. Crush is gonna lose his job. He's in danger. At least Larry's been pre preparing for the future, you know? Because like he's actually got like three other jobs. He knows his time is short. Well, this is gonna be a very short battle. Let it freeze, let it snow. Let it pile up on top of us. <laughs> Not the best Frozen cover I've ever heard, Crusher, I'll be honest with you. Let it freeze! Let me go! <laughs> Let the mountaintop claim me, please! <laughs> like Frozen, but Elsa really doesn't want to fucking be here! Informed by each of the gym leaders that you stop by to see him. And you're giving you this task as the right decision, Champion Lettuce. All of them seem quite happy for the opportunity to battle you. Now I would like the inspection report from you in person. Join me at the academy in the entrance hall. I'll be waiting for you there. Yeah, we, we, we got it. More importantly, outside of the gym inspection, we got a shitload of money for that. Look at all that. Ending everyone's career has never been so profitable. Tell me, which gym leader did you feel was the easiest to face in battle? Oh shit, Zoe, can I end someone's career? Can I get someone fired? Like, Iono sucks. Iono. Next, which gym leader left the strongest impression on it? You gotta, you gotta employ Larry more, you know? He's carrying this entire organization. Larry, I see. Which gym leader gave you the most trouble during battle? Uh, Larry just knows his stuff. Like, that man followed up a normal-type Pokemon with a normal-type Pokemon. Yeah, like that, uh, that's a bold move right there. Larry, I see. This is the last most important question. Which gym leader did you like the most? Oh, uh, it's gotta be Larry. It's gotta be Larry. <laughs> Your perspective was fascinating, Champion Lettuce. It's like, did you see any other trainer? Well, any of the other gym leaders other than Larry? You're supposed to go see all of them, you know? One week later. Thanks to Nimona's pushing and a bit of cooperation from the Pokemon League, they finally arrived for the great Pokemon battle competition to be held. Anyway, how you feeling, Lettuce? In the mindset to do some winning? No. <laughs> the old no, I'm still sleepy routine. Good joke! You have no choice here. Phones will be matched by lottery, and the lottery is run by the people in charge. It means you have no idea who you'll be facing until you meet them on the battle court. Winners, as I said, will get to advance in the next round. They'll lose once and you're knocked out. No more battles for you after that. The last trainer standing, the only person to win all their matches will be deemed the best of all. The Academy's ace. Okay, right, so we got, like, a tournament, yeah. Can we just fight Larry, like, four times? Is that how it's gonna be? Like, yeah, yeah you a we answer four questions, you face Iono, and then Larry three times. <laughs> now, without further ado, let the Academy ace tournament, our school battle brawl, begin. We're just taking over the town. Oh, we're facing Arvin for the first one. This is actually one of the hardest battles that we we had in the entire game. <laughs> Get a taste of this. Arvin's here with some spicy new flavor for you. Oh, the music's different too. Pokemon Trainer Arvin. I think he's still got his same team. This is going to be a very different fight to what it was before. Let's get hammering. Arvin sweep, let's go. Like, compared to what our, our our previous fight was against him, it's quite a dramatic change, ain't it? For, for all time's sake, let me just, like, close my eyes here, okay? I'm gonna just look away from the screen and we can just play the lotto again. <laughs> you know, if, if it's not a casino match, then it's like, I don't want any of it. Look away. That is not outrage. This might take a while. <laughs> No, he's just gonna fucking murder us. Jesus. Minecraft sweep, not today. Ah, uh, just fuck it, keep going. You should be alright. You should be alright. He's playing a gotcha game again. There's like, like a very angry YouTube comment currently being penned. He's playing suboptimal. Go, my level 72 Marie. Oh, this is a bad time to set up. Marie. <laughs> yeah, just just power jam it down. No, Marie, not again, Marie. Why? Every time, Candy's too weak. Well, no, she she wins by virtue of her presence. I feel so bad whenever we fight his dog. I don't want to hurt it again. I just feel bad fighting it. Oh, down he goes again. <laughs> So strong and cool. I'm really proud to call you my best friend, you know. Is Arvin our best friend? I don't I don't know. I don't know if we decided that. Could be Larry. 
Could be Larry. Larry, how do you feel about being like, like you know, a close friend in this game? <sighs> okay, who are we up against? Oh, it's Jack. Who do we think he's gonna be using? I haven't seen like him in a Pokemon battle at all. Strong start. Behold the power of sand. It's very rare that you get to fight like a professor in most Pokemon games. This one, this, I mean, this one's technically had two, I guess. Now uh, let's get a rock slide in. Oh Jesus! That's okay, cause we have slot machine mechanics. Power friendship. You can't defeat me. Right, let's get him. There's sand in my eyes. The square is in jeopardy. We've taken over the entire city to organize this tournament. We have like private like uh, Pokemon arenas if we need it, like in the school. All these shops about to close business for the day is like these monsters are just rampaging. The Don fan just collides with like the shoe store, like merchandise goes everywhere. Very strong, there's some secret the way you raise po your Pokemon. I grind terror raids, Jacques, until I have like copious amounts of candy. Well, we did it. The school battle brawl is for deciding the strongest trainer in the academy, right? Man, I'm so pumped up. There's no better place for me to show off my strengths. Give you the reason we're having this tournament. You have my thanks for that. New kid, no champion lettuce. As a teacher, I feel like it's my duty to lead students to success. I don't think we've actually got to fight her at any point. We had to do like the, the, the awful rhythm game that one time. Oh, she's got the boys. Oh, I feel, I feel terrible that we're gonna have to annihilate the boys there. I love them so much, but they gotta go. They gotta go. I'm sorry, boys. Ah, oh, Taffy's not gonna quite do it. You did amazing, Taffy. That's okay. Because I have just the Pokemon to finish the job. Get him, Candy. Oh, no. <laughs> Candy, no. Candy's just gonna be set into orbit. Okay, good fight. Caddy has been turned into paste once again. Oh, Jesus. One last match in this tournament, ladies and gentlemen. Please be Larry. Please be Larry. Oh, damn it, I got excited for a moment. I thought it might have been. Okay, final battle. Still have to ask what's going on with her backstory, considering she has a Pokemon from Area Zero, but just gloss over that for now. That <laughs> better be Larry in a wig. I don't think it is. It's okay though, we'll just- we'll get to the real final boss soon. Just gotta make quick work of her, you know? Just bop him down. Like, a go-go, like... It's, that's just not fearsome. Says the woman with a Mareep. Yeah, but I'm memeing, right? I'm like taking the piss. She's like the champion. Also, unfortunately, this thing does not seem too strong. Larry is the real champion all along. Probably. Larry could do it. Just waiting for a good, like, you know, contract to come in. Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, the victor of this tournament. That's the strongest trainer in the whole academy is Champion Lettuce. Woo. Lettuce, you did it, you did it. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce. Like, man, I could go, I could really go for, like, a salad right now. Anyone want to get, like, another sandwich? Well, dear students and staff, that wraps up our very first Academy Ace Tournament. I hope you all treasure it. Oh yeah, here's your prize. Oh, sweet a hat. You know, Lettuce, I've, I've relished every day since you moved here to Paldea and became my rival. I'm so glad I met you, I mean it. Been great. Come on, don't make me blush. And anyway, I'll be seeing you on the battle court for a good long time to come. Couldn't just say no there. I'm actually calling to tell you that highly difficult terror raids are cropping up all over the place. We're getting report after report from academy students about their Pokemon getting injured. We teachers have split up to investigate these raids, but we're still short-handed. So we wondered if, you could en if we could enlist your help since you're the academy's ace and all. How about it, Lettuce? Okay, okay. So I believe the reward for all of that is we've now unlocked a six-star terror raid. Oh, you gotta do ten five-star raids first? Jack will call you as soon as it's ready. Okay, that's cool. So that, that's just gradually gonna be unlocked now, and I think that's the very end of everything. The glow, I believe this indicates that this is an Eevee raid. Uh, it's still a five-star raid as well. These ones actually aren't bad if we just have to get like 10 five-star raids, because Eevee's just not gonna be like the most defensive of Pokemon. Oh, that's a shiny one as well. That's cool. 
Yeah, I'm just here to show off him, though. Game. Game, please. <laughs> this will be the real endurance test of this, actually, is just getting the game to cooperate. Oh, it's just dead now. Okay, all right. We didn't see any of that happen. I don't think I even got to show off what I want to do. Because <laughs> the game is lagged so badly. It's already dead. But I'll get... See, that's how it operates. See, like, you heal. Well, the battle's over now, but I don't think the game knows. I need to level some... I'm gonna, like, level a few more Pokemon specifically for the raids. Just so I have a bit of variety. I'll probably, like, alter Koroiden a bit. See, so for doing that, like, you get, like, a shitload of candy. And, like, just high-value items. Pretty good. Okay, that's one done. We're gonna try and do all ten. God love us. We're gonna try and do ten. There we go, the boys. I think there's Steel Boys this time. One of these squads. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what the meta is for the terrorists. <laughs> Fucking squad is here. Yeah, go all out, gang. Okay, let's get him, gang. I think we're gonna be able to get this one cut quite comfortably. He's <laughs> just being beaten down. Hack away at a gang. Promise through. Don't know if anyone has like terrestrialized fire. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see like these guys like in a lot of the terror raids, like, as well as like Koridon and Maridon, just because everyone gets access to them. The one there is gearing up. <laughs> it's... You just have to fucking wait sometimes. There you go. Oh god, they get bottle caps. That's so fucking good. Look at all the mints. Like a mint costs twenty grand. A bottle cap costs twenty grand. It's like a hundred grand worth of supplies there at least. Oh! Hello there! Shiny Charm, uh, putting in some work, I think. <laughs> look at this little guy. He isn't ripe yet. <laughs> it does look it, doesn't it? God, it's some remarkable shiny luck. Neat. What's another one acquired? Uh, this is a Ditto Raid. This seems like it might be fun. I don't know how this works. <laughs> There's another Ditto <laughs> Okay, how is this gonna work? <laughs> Wait. Oh, because the host says ditto, I think he just stays as ditto. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> He's really badly hurt. Fucking outplayed by the host. Yeah, I guess ditto is like a very straightforward raid if you get it. You can make it whatever you want. Fucking amazing. <laughs> The Mimic tier from Elden Ring moment, basically. Yeah. Ability capsule and a bottle cap. That's pretty good. Look how many, like, L candies there are there, too. Like, that that's so much XP. Yeah, like, the belly drum and, like, screech combo. Like, this Hippowdon's about to be fucking decimated. I'm gonna try and get a sword stance in, but, like, this, this battle might be over in a minute. Fuck it! <laughs> yeah, that's, that, that's the combo you want. That's the combo you want. <laughs> Holy shit. So, yeah, get get yourself, like, a Belly Drum, uh, Paradox Hariyama. Get the rest of the team to just use Screech. And then just kill whatever stands in your way. I think that's the strat. I, I don't think anything can beat that. That was insane. Okay, Magnazone, but he's got balloons. Let's go, gang. Got a sword stance up. Uh, let's just try get him. Let's see how much this does. It's decent. Okay, no, that'll do it. <laughs> How the fuck did you set that up? <laughs> what move was that? Oh, metal sound, right, so the lower special defense. It's insane. I'll, uh, I'll level up uh, my Karaidon and get that to, like, where it needs to be. Oh, we got a herb! That's fantastic. I'll take a bitter one. Even if it's just one, that's a pretty good result. It's taking all those terror raid battles for us. Investigation's moving along, thanks to you, Lettuce. We have some new data. Seems that the terrestrial energy is released from the Great Crater of Paldea from time to time. And that's having an effect on the crystals. Terror raid crystals that get hit by especially strong blasts of this energy are apparently transforming into black crystals. Terror Pokemon found these black crystals are incredibly powerful. So much so that average trainers wouldn't stand a chance against them. Anything but average, but I'm afraid this is too dangerous even for you, Lettuce. When you find the location of one of these black crystals on your map app, please do not. I repeat, do not take on the terror raid there. Oh no. I mean it, don't read in that like there's some kind of hidden meaning. Counting on you to make the right choice. I don't know. You will die. 
But I'm- and just so you don't die, I'm gonna send over the map location data so that you know where to avoid danger. Oh, it's a Mimikyu. That's a fairy Mimikyu, is it? Okay, let's uh, let's give this a go. <laughs> We've got double Harry. <laughs> okay, I can take a guess what the strategy might be here. <laughs> oh no, we lost one to the AI. Someone got snapped. Danger. I, I, I don't think the cloth tires us. <laughs> Oh no, we're counting on the Harry Amos strat. I'm gonna just cheer to hang tough so they don't die. Go Harry Amos. <laughs> okay, they're, they're powered up. I'm gonna get powered up too. Yeah, go Klotzar, get him with the toxic. No, one of the Harry Amos is already dead. Okay, the disguise is gone. It is Harry Amos time to shine. Well, he drove up. Oh no, even with the Harry Amma meta, it's not doing enough damage. <laughs> this is gonna be rough. <laughs> oh wait. Okay, we got the terraforms. That might help. We've got double Harry Amma. <laughs> it's good. Oh, we got it now. Oh, good job, gang. So th this cements this as as the meta, because like these Hariyamas were weak against this Mimikyu, and they've, this has still worked. We had a Claude Sire on our team, and this still worked. The meta is secure. <laughs> this was gonna be special. It's the first six star we did. I'll probably use this. I'll try and devise a set for Mimikyu. Caught a six star Mimikyu. Get a lot of fairy terror shards for that. Plod Sire carried your raid. Give him the praise they deserve. <laughs> like, remember, don't ever do these. We just saw the terrestrial energy reading from one of the black crystals disappear a moment ago. Do you know anything about that? I'm in so much pain, Jacques. Thanks for your help. I'm sending you something as a thank you gift. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty lackluster reward. <laughs> Still, even after all this, it seems the amount of energy being emitted is slowly growing. That means we may continue to see more black crystals appear in the future. Don't imagine you'll listen to me even if I try to stop you, so I won't be too firm with you. Please continue to be careful out there. By the way, Director Clavel will be madder than a rampage in Prime if he finds out, so let's keep this between us two. Talk to you later. Okay, we gotta try- we gotta try the sandwich strat now. We could try get a shiny Vorin Moon. That- that- that could be crazy. I- I can have a picnic in Area Zero, can I? No, you can't have a picnic in the area. Okay, so we gotta have... Well, it's okay, we'll have our lovely picnic, like, at the edge of the world here. Okay, gang, be careful at the picnic. Don't want to run too fast. <laughs> don't... I'm getting real anxious for my cereal edge. Karine, no! Karine! Oh, no, he's slipping! <laughs> no! He's, ha he's hanging on to the wall. Oh, God, I've unlocked some new recipes here, too. Jeez. When the fuck were there so many? Holy shit! When did I get all of these? Okay, so this is the, this is the new sandwich strat, right? The ingredients are very specific. It is tomato, onion, green pepper, and a hamburger. No matter what you do. For dragon encounter, you need two smoked fillets. It is now any two Herba Mystica. And that's the recipe. Let's make an actual nice sandwich. I, I don't know why the table shakes so violently whenever you're making the sandwich. Definitely makes it tougher. <laughs> you're not gonna be able to get it out. <laughs> it's just stuck. That flag is not coming out. God, this looks horrendous. <laughs> I don't think we like it. <laughs> Wait, that was dark. That wasn't dragon. Oh, I mean, hey, it's okay. It's also dark. It worked though. It still works. Okay, and now that autosave is off, we simply run to where Salamence appears. Uh, I might be too late with this warning, but if you're not careful with the sandwich and the top red piece causes the sandwich to explode, it will not give the correct benefits. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Okay, so be, be really fucking careful with your sandwich. Holy sh- it's just mushrooms. It's- 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 <laughs> They're everywhere. There might be a few Sneasels and Sableye in here because it's dark. It might- yeah, it might be a mistake that it's the dark sandwich. It's gonna be hard to spot just because of the way they all pop in. It's a fucking laggy cave. There's an army of Sneasels. 
They're everywhere. Right, tell you what. Let's restart it, and we'll try the avocado. Because holy shit, there's a lot of dark type in that cave. My genuine question is, how the fuck do people work this out? <laughs> like, even for like the base and like the types that you need. <laughs> like, it's not even appetizing food. Like, this looks horrible. <laughs> okay, it's slightly better. <laughs> so tasty. <laughs> I don't think our character likes it. Okay, we did it right that time. We gotta go, gang. God, there is a lot more of them. Consider how rare this guy was even the first time we were in this cave. There's there's a lot more. Sandwiches are goddamn powerful. There, there's already a shiny. <laughs> it works. Making sure there's not a shiny that pops in in the background. Thank you. Okay, that's pretty good. So th this method is confirmed then. We still have 24 minutes on the clock. That Within six minutes of making the sandwich, we found one. Can't see. Or sa- Oh! <laughs> that's pretty cool! The sandwich method is too powerful. Like, holy shit. There's like so many Pokemon just like watching us. Okay, do not use a play rough. Uh, simply go for a knockoff. We chip. Chip away. I'm honestly tempted to just chuck my Master Ball at this one. This is like Master Ball category Pokemon for me. But we will forever save it. Use a repeat ball. Not again. <laughs> I don't think I have a repeat ball. This thing has a lower catch rate than some legendaries. Thank God I just got the crit. <laughs> Shiny Salamence. How, how's it going, Gat? We, we've assembled quite like a amount of spectators here. We got what we wanted. And we got an extra. 